Welcome to Conversations with the Empress. I am the Empress. And as you could tell by my attire, <laughs> it's Freaky Friday, y'all. It's the day we all been waiting for. At least I have. And you know I love a Freaky Friday. <laughs> Before we get started, please go like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Throw us this, that cash app if you're feeling generous. Do your girl a favor, hit that like button right about now. Thank you. So the fit for tonight was supposed to be a, a hip grabber. You know, I love a high-waisted hip because it makes your legs look very, very long. I mean, I'm already tall, so my legs look long, but Something about a high-waisted thing just extends your thigh and makes your leg look so much longer. And I think that's so sexy. So that's what the fit was about tonight. Um, and you know, guys, they like this. They like this little part right here. You see this part? See this little, this little chunky little part right here? Yeah, they like that part. So I've heard. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but they like it. So tonight's subject... Um, it's something near and dear to my heart. And not the usual Freaky Friday that I would have, but still freaky, okay? Um, for those of you who have been watching my show from the beginning, you know that one of my passions is ending the sexual repression of women, okay? Um, I feel that women and men are taught to conduct themselves different sexually and think about sex differently from one another. You know, for the most part, men are encouraged to go out here and date and sow their oats and do all these things and be free in their sexuality. But from the time women are born, um, we're taught to repress our sexuality. I mean, there are countries in this world where women are not allowed to read or, um, you know, show their bodies or faces. Um, there's also places where they do female circumcision, where they like cut off your clitoris and sew you up because as a woman, you're to them, you're not supposed to be sexually satisfied. You're not supposed to feel sexual pleasure. Your vagina is just used for reproduction and a man's pleasure. So it's like... It's not just in America. It's kind of like a worldwide thing. Women being taught to repress their sexuality and their sexuality only being based on pleasing a man. So, you know, for me, I feel that that holds us back in so many ways. Like, you know, it's bad for your self-esteem to not be in, such, in touch with yourself sexually. Um, being able to own your sexuality and know your body it raises your self-esteem um not only that but it raises your sexual confidence and sexual confidence matters um it really matters a lot because look at men like men go out here and they're uh encouraged to and praised for their prowess okay for them being able to get as many women and dismantle them in the bedroom and this is that and third like you know that's the thing that builds their confidence so just like men we have that same sexual confidence that needs to be built but it's really hard for women to tap into that because we're taught from the beginning not to um also you know not only is it bad for your self-esteem and bad for your sexual confidence but it's also bad for your sexual pleasure because at the end of the day, if you're taught to not speak up about what you like, then you're, first of all, putting your desires and your satisfaction on the back burner. And secondly, you're also saying that the man's sexual desires is more important than yours, which is not true. Everybody's sexual desires are as equally as important. Um, it's, it's also denying a huge part of who you are okay denying a part of who you are is is shunning a part of who you are is not accepting a part of who you are and we all should accept all that we are good bad and different light dark whatever you know i've been teased a lot in my life about being more like a man than like a woman 
And honestly, I take it as a compliment because that means that you see an assertiveness and a, a confidence in me that remind you of a man and men are taught to be confident and go out here and like grab their balls and take the world on so if a man says that to me then i take that as a compliment even if he's trying to insult me in that way so i did all the background of negatives and positives on you know sexual repression it's important to me because it's all about women being empowered okay being empowered to own themselves all parts of them there's nothing wrong with you knowing what you like sexually. There's nothing wrong with you saying how you like it, how you don't like it, what you want and what you don't want. There's nothing wrong with that. Because how else is somebody going to know how to please you and give you what you need if you can't express it? Um, I just feel like we get caught up in people thinking we're a whore or we're a slut or we're fast or we're easy or we're whatever these negative sexual words that society has concocted to make us feel bad for something that's so natural. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of sex and how repressing yourself is not good for your relationship or for your partnership or situationship or whatever you got going on, okay? First things first, men don't know everything okay men don't know your body the way you should know your body unless of course they're a gynecologist or just a guy who's really into learning about a woman's body which nine times out of ten they're not okay they learn as they go the same way we do um to put that uh onus on the man to know how to please you is just not fair to him and it's also not fair to you, okay? You need to be able to express yourself about what you like and what you don't like. You never are supposed to just lay down with somebody and take whatever they're giving you and just be satisfied with it if you're really not satisfied, okay? Um, and it's like, if you can't talk about what you want why would you expect somebody to give you what you want? Um, if you can't say it, then why is it okay? Why can you do it? Like, <laughs> that's how I feel about it. You know, if you can say it, then you can do it. But you're, you you want to do something you can't even say. That's just, it doesn't go together. You know what I mean? You can't expect your man or your partner, whoever, to just know. You have to tell them. Because I've met plenty of guys and they have no problem saying, no, do it like this. No, I like it like that. Or think about when you're giving head. How many times has a guy just grabbed your head and, and put it the way how he wanted you to do it? Yeah, because they don't have a problem saying, no, I like it like this. Oh, no, you hit me with your teeth. Or this, this, that, and the third. They don't have no problem saying that. Um, You're, you're denying your own sexual satis satisfaction. Like, for what? Just because you don't want to say it, you're scared about how they're going to look at you if you say it. If you're already in the process of having sex, what difference does it make how they're looking at you? You're already giving it up. What difference does it make? You might as well enjoy yourself. If you're going to lay down, you might as well enjoy yourself, okay? Um, the other side of this is by us denying our, sexual, our sexuality and denying... Um, our sexual satisfaction we give men false confidence okay how many times have you laid in the bed with a man and the sex was horrible or the head was horrible and you faked an orgasm for it to end i know a lot of y'all women are saying i did that i did that i didn't listen homegirl right here i don't fake no orgasms if you're trash you're trash and i'm gonna tell you listen this is not working this is not how you do it Pump me like this, touch me like this, lick it like this, stick it like this. Yes, I'm giving out instructions. You need play by play. I got you with the play by play because I ain't wasting my time. Okay, I'm gonna get off. You ain't. You're not wasting my time. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, you're laying down and you're giving up your body for his pleasure, but he's giving you. He's supposed to be giving you your pleasure. Okay. Now let's just keep it real. Most of the time, a man is gonna be satisfied with a woman, no matter what she do. Okay. 
you can lay there like a dead fish and nine out of 10 men is not going to care as long as you've given it to them. Um, so tell them what you want because they're going to enjoy it regardless. Tell them what you want, what you want done, what you don't want done. Okay. Furthermore, if a man is not good in bed, you need to tell him not just for you, but for all of womankind. Okay. Because you sitting there faking it with a dude. And then he go out here and give it to another woman and think he's like King Dingling, the best in the world. And she gonna look at him like he crazy. He gonna get his feelings hurt. So I look at it as everything's educational. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to do it right. So even if we ain't talking, we ain't fucking no more. You gonna go out here. Somebody else gonna be impressed with what you got going on. Okay. Um, and lastly, the thing I want to say about this sexual repression of women and how we repress ourselves and society represses us is that men get tired of always initiating shit. Okay. Think about it. Men always have to be the ones to approach and, and, and see if we're going to reject them. Think about how many times guys that hit you up on POF or whatever these dating websites and they putting themselves out there albeit corny or whatever, they're putting themselves out there every time for a woman to be like, no, not respond, block, no, you suck, leave me alone, no, okay? So they always have to put themselves out there, all right? And a lot of times men are horny. They're horny a lot. Not that we're not horny a lot. We be horny and we can control our horny, but men be horny like every day, okay? So we're not always horny though. So it make it easier for a man sometimes if you initiate it, because then he doesn't have to figure out, well, is it okay for me to initiate it? Like, I don't know if she wants it. Da, 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 da. If you are taking the bull by the horns and saying, yo, I want this, I want that, it makes it easier for them. Not only does it make it easier for them, but it also builds their confidence. Um, I used to deal with a guy, I used to deal with a guy and we had a lot of anal sex and it was great with him like it was great with him and i used to tell him like i want you to come over here and i want you to do such and such and such to me i like it how you do it like this and da, 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 da. and he revealed to me that that built his confidence the fact that i would say that i liked how he did things and i told him what i wanted and it made him feel good it made him feel more comfortable and more confident in his sexuality with me and it made him want to give it to me more so it's like it's a win-win okay i know a lot of women out here are still caught up in that age-old thinking of you know a woman is not supposed to do this a woman is not supposed to do that a woman is supposed to be a lady da, 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 da. okay that's all well and good but you're a human with sexual desires we're all humans with sexual desires okay there's nothing wrong with you exploring your sexuality and expressing your sexual desires to the person that you're dealing with. If somebody tells you that's a problem, then they're not the people that you need to be around, okay? If a man tells you that your sexual satisfaction is not as important as his, then you need to kick him to the curb because that's bullshit, okay? So what I want to say is, in closing, stop denying yourself, stop denying your partner, and just be free and and live your best life okay in and outside of the bedroom <laughs> um ladies try taking the lead you know stop waiting for your man to make the first move you might be horny out your mind but you're too scared to be like oh i'm horny can we find i'm, I'm horny can you can you eat me out like can you um girl please you need to walk in the door and own that penis the same way they come in the door and own you come in and be like give me that that is what I want. I want it over there. I want it over here. I want it like this. I want it like that. Because that's going to turn them on, okay? You know, I've gotten compliments from a lot of guys about being so sexually forward in what I like and being very open about my sexuality and, and what I'm into and yada, yada, yada. Like, I hear it all the time. I wish women were more like that. I wish women would just say what they want and this and that and tell me when they want it. And like, I hear that all the time so ladies get it out your head that you have to be a lady and all this type of stuff men want to know what you want they get turned on by hearing you say what you want in and outside of the bedroom so that's my show i hope it was uh enlightening and made you think about something and you stop faking orgasms with you <laughs> stop faking them orgasms y'all if it's whack, it's whack. Tell them it's trash. <laughs>
tell them it's trash and then give them some pointers, give them some tips. All right. <laughs> I had to talk my shit. Anyway, if you like this show, you want to see more content like this, please go like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Throw a girl a cash at. And until we meet again, smooth jazz. Mm -hmm.